So what next? I'm next! From this moment forward, I am now Detective Apples, Detective Officer Apples, because this is what's next. L.A. Noir, presented by Rockstar Games. You guys know Rockstar Games, right? You know those people who made GTA and Red Dead Redemption? That same Rockstar Games. So L.A. Noir is basically a, a game where you play as a police officer and you solve crimes, you collect evidence, you interrogate suspects, and all that type of stuff. And you play as this guy, Cole Phelps, who I'm sure... That's 1247. ...majority of my viewers are familiar with now. Because uh, of the meme videos that I've made. And if you haven't checked out those meme videos, please do yourself a favor and check them out. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But anyways, this is the proper playthrough of L.A. Noir. So let's get right to it. So now we're at the crime scene. We were called to this crime scene by the dispatch radio. Okay, that's our superior officer, homicide officer, Floyd Rose. Okay. We already got the, the victim. I guess they just want us to search for the evidence. Okay. Wow, that's... That's very inspirational for a cop to say. He's a low life. Like, it's still your job, man. Like, why do you do this job if you're gonna treat dead people like that? Hey, let's just search this crime scene. So now we have to look for evidence pertaining to the murder that just happened. I mean, this this part, yeah. Like, if you miss if you miss a part of evidence, it can impact your whole case, and then like you will be misleaded. You have Why you bullying me? And then it'll take you longer to catch the suspect if you even catch the suspect at the end. So like you have to keep your eyes open and hope that you find the evidence. A newspaper. Can people die of paper cuts? I'm sure they can, like ridiculous paper cuts, like a ridiculous amount of paper cuts. So this guy Phelps, man, he is... He is basically a hero from World War II. This game takes place in the 1940s. And... Oh, a brush. They use that to paint the blood. This game, plays t this game takes place in the 1940s and Phelps is a hero from World War II. Oh wait, a puddle of blood. This is definitely where the guy was... Shooter, put him up against the wall. Well, <laughs> Phelps just... Took the words out of my mouth. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. I'm with you, Phelps. Doesn't really matter. So like Phelps is a a World War Two hero, and uh, wait, there's the gun. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. Okay, wait. How the hell did you see that? Reflection in the window. How do you see the reflection in the window when it's at night? Phelps is basically a hero from World War II and he is looking to see what's next in life after the war. So he's trying to adjust to life after the war. After all the traumas and all that that he went through during the war. So he's trying to live a normal life. Here's the gun. We just spider man this building right by the way. Amazing! Serial S7189. Okay, so I guess he's gonna trace the serial number back to the the shooter. Fire. Instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Why would someone just shoot someone 
and then just fling their gun away. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, if you shooting someone, I'm sure you'd do a better job at hiding the weapon. Unless you were, like, in a panic mode. Or maybe it was self defense. So I guess Phelps wants to find the owner. Even though the detective specifically told him to bag it and return it to technical services. But Phelps is not like that. Phelps wants to do everything himself. He wants to be hands on and show initiative, as he said. And that's the type of guy that Phelps is. He's one of my favorite characters in like all of the Rockstar games. Is like the most underrated protagonist. I'm the beast. Like I know people love CJ and you know Trevor and Michael and all those guys from GTA, but this guy's up there. Okay, let's go to the gun store. Next! Okay, now we're at the gun store. Let's see what we can find out here. Uh, let's go inside. How are you doing, boss? This is Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? I can tell you something. It's a gun. <laughs> Am I right? How do they know the specifics just by looking at it? I mean, he's a gunsmith, right? Is that the right terminology? Gunsmith? You know, like this blacksmith for swords. I mean, how does he know just by looking at it? I'm not an expert on guns. Where's my gun expert at? Leave me a comment down below and tell me how you know the difference between guns. Like the, the specifics, I know like certain guns look a certain way, but you know, like the specific details. Okay, 27 with power crops. Uh, my eyes are not that very good, but uh, I will look slowly. Uh, wait, I think I see it. Uh, there we go. We're in luck, Errol Schroeder. Mr. Schroeder ordered the gun in February '46. You are the suspect, my Thanks. boy. Big help. Always happy to help out the LAPD. I'm sure you are. Okay, let's go catch some bad guys now. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Hey, okay. this guy, Ralph. He just wants to like dump the problems onto other people like he just wants to get out of there Next! okay now we're at the suspect's apartment let's go inside and see what he has to say for himself i mean he might be innocent for all we know so let's go see what he has to say okay second apartment schroeder apartment two Okay, I'm gonna be like, open up! Shit. This is the police! What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn. Okay. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. You might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight. With your gun. With your gun, boy. Scooter? He works for me. He works for you. Gun here in my drawer. No boss, I have that gun. What the fuck is going on Stop here? looking You're for your homework when I know you didn't do it. You're not taking me down for this. Oh Ralph. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Ooh. But you know boss, you can't touch me. Oh! You're just getting a beat down boss. Yo. Finish him. You know what he was doing? He was like, right. you know, like when you're in school and you pretend to look for your homework when you know full well that you haven't done it. That, that's what he was doing. He was like, I have that gun here. Yeah. A book. Okay, let's open this book. Uh. Okay, I don't know what this means. That's. Names in a series of numbers. That's our superior officer. Like Rose's name is in this book. So is this a bribe book? 
basically. It's like Floyd didn't want to get his hands dirty on that shooting. The more you know. Corruption. Okay. So guys, that was the introduction to LA Noir. Like, share and subscribe. I will be back with some more tomorrow and then Sunday for the final patrolman case. And then from there, we'll move on to the detective cases, which are the more fun cases and the meat of the story. But anyways, that's it for now. And I'll see you all next time.